Hello everybody, this is Joe Bean Videos on the Jimmy Master Electronics, and this is a video of the Techie Toys Halloween Animated Flying Reaper. This one was made in 2006, sold at Kmart. It was also at Menards in 2007, which I do have a video of that. If you go into my Halloween playlist on my Joe Bean Videos channel, I think the second playlist, yeah, um, you'll see it. It's actually in, I think it's in the thumbnail actually. Now, it could have been 2006, it might have just been a leftover, I'm not sure, but Spirit Halloween and Spencer's had one too in 2006, only the face was darker, and the LED lights in this one are in the forehead. There's a blue LED in there, it's inside the head. The one that Spirit and Spencer sold, there was a LED light, the LED lights were on the hood. There was one here, one at the top, and one on the other side. This item we will be taking outside to show you in action because there's nowhere in this house that I can actually hang it. So we will be going outside and you will not be seeing it light up outside since it's sunny out. Maybe a little bit but not a lot. The arms are poseable. Well, kind of if they're not broken. Like, I had this all the way back in 2006. It didn't last me very long. The gear is quickly stripped out when it would go to one side of the screen. When, once it hits that little uh, ball that you can adjust to where you want it to stop, it would click. Um, actually, it wasn't able to turn around anymore. Like, you see this here? It cannot turn this direction. Somehow on the one that I got, I was able to turn it the opposite direction and lock it. That's the only way it would work. If I wouldn't turn it and lock it, it wouldn't work. It wouldn't move that one direction. But of course, a few years later, it got to the point where it couldn't move at all, no matter what. So um, I was finally happy to get this off eBay. This is a replacement for my old one that I no longer have. Um, um, I will not be showing you my others today. Um. I know that you guys know that I have a lot of these flying things, but I will not be showing the others. It's been taking me a long time to do this review, actually. And the other ones don't have the same rope. Like, the ro I used my old one so much that the rope actually ended up snapping. Because um, when they get to the end of the ball, the wheel still rolls a little bit and it um, wears down on the rope and they ended up snapping. <laughs> so I we had to get new rope for them at one point. Um... But, um, I have to remember what I was saying. But yeah, I, oh yeah, I got it off eBay for $50, which I guess isn't bad. This is pretty hard to find now. And this is my favorite because it was my first one. Plus, you know, they don't, they don't make these cool looking ones anymore. They only make the classic ghost and the ghost that sold that Spirit Halloween and that's it. You know, they don't make any of the monsters or ghouls anymore. Like, they made so many... Flying Reaper with light up glowing face. Outdoor indoor use makes creepy sounds. 20 foot, 25 foot cable included. Battery operated three feet tall. Actually flies. And then totally glow. That's the. Um, it is supposed to have a try me button where you hold it down, the face will light up and it'll make sound. There's also a silent mode where it can uh, fly silently. And they scratched off the price. Um, but I'm sure it was like, you know, 20, 25 bucks. I'm sure it wasn't, it wasn't really expensive. And here's the, um, instructions. Flying monster is sound activated. They covered that too. Wonder if, can still get a glimpse at it. Wonder if, um, yeah, they completely marked it off. I can't really see through it. It doesn't matter. We all know that it was under $30. Pretty much everything back in the day was under $30. Everything small. Alright. Okay, I'll quickly show you. Turn it on since so you can see the lights and everything. And then we'll take it outside.
Okay, we're going to take it outside now. Hopefully none of the neighbors are outside because they're going to think I'm a weirdo. <laughs> Anyways, here we go. I'll resume when I'm outside. This arm looks like it's broke. The problem with these ones is that, you see, the, the arm is, they're glued. They're not supposed to be. My other one was like that right out of the box too. The arm would never pose. Like, see, it's 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 actually, it needs to be re-glued. And, and as a matter of fact, one hand on my old one broke completely off at one point. Anyways, yeah. So, um, since the arm was broken, I always posed the arm like this, like it was looking for someone. And this arm was down. <laughs> That's how I always had my old one posed. All right. And I will show you guys t uh, me tying it to the trees. Because you wrap the rope around trees and that's, yeah. I'll, I'll probably, maybe I'll show you it in the backyard and then the front yard. So, here we go. And we're going to look for a place that would be a, um, that we can hang it or uh, strain it. I don't know, around those trees. We can, we can wrap it around that. So, um. Let me set the camera down and um, I'll tie it around the uh, poles and then we'll take it to the front yard. There's a little knot in here. Here, just a minute. I, I always forget the uh, just the little balls. Okay. got to make sure you get it tight. Kind of confusing here. Let me. Here, see, like I said, it's got to be really tight. 
and the uh, there's a little clip here that has to clip it a certain way so the string doesn't loosen like that. So I got to pause and do this here. It's much easier um, wrapping the rope around a tree, much easier than a pole. The rope is actually very confusing, like it easily gets tangled up. I'm working on, I have to, well, yeah, when you wrap them around poles, you've got to wrap them a certain way, I don't know. Like I said, it's much easier wrapping it around a tree. Hopefully this will hold. <laughs> Anyways, here's those little balls that you can adjust. And it'll stop once it hits them and turn the other direction. Okay, so here's how it looks. It, it'll, you'll probably see the lights a little bit since this is kind of a shaded spot. So let's see. Cool. Okay. Okay, we'll do it again. And yep, it works perfectly too. I will do my others at some point, just not today. Cause like I said, their rope is gonna be so tangled up and all that and oh my God, their rope is a mess. Let's see. <laughs> And I'll show you the uh, silent mode here. It flies for the same amount of time on silent mode as it would for the sound mode. Oh, actually it looks like it might be a little shorter. All right, so um, now I guess we'll take it to the front yard and do it around the trees. So, um, yeah. By the way, it is a three setting switch. The middle is off, right is flying with sound and left is flying with silent. Okay, we're gonna do it around those trees there. So it's going to end up turning this direction. So that, that's the thing you want to make sure. If you want it to turn the direction facing that way, you'll, you have to check because now it's going to turn this way, but whatever. Um, okay, we'll move that over there. Let's see.
it's not too loud. Yeah, I see the wind. There's a slight bit of wind, so that, sometimes that can make them change direction, depending. Yeah, and then when it starts again, it turns the other direction. <laughs> yeah, that's... Oh, the batteries are getting low too. So yeah, that's the Techie Toys Halloween Animated Flying Reaper from 2006. I hope you enjoyed this video. See the slight bit of uh, wind is causing it to change direction and causing it to not turn around.